big game today over in Hobart, which we've just ripped to shreds over there. And uh, JB has oh, come back, okay. called the game last night, and his love of uh, the Apple Isle has seen him get up early and wander back down there because his kangaroos take on the Tigers in what is a very big game, bro. I know he's going to join us in just a moment. There's only one team that can survive down there, Gary. Tassie isn't big enough for two. They clash right, in and Hobart today. The come on, I've been stuff. down there. I've seen it. The home of North Melbourne down there today, and it'll be very, very interesting to see how they're going. But only one can survive, JB, as we welcome you to the broadcast. Brittle, that is absolute horse garbage. <laughs> You're going to need to like play to some more. Stronger, but uh, I can't. North is Hawthorne. South is North Melbourne, and never the twain shall meet. Uh, uh, they dislike each other down here, North and South. But the so AFL, the AFL coexist. The AFL want them to want, wants it all to come together, though. JB, as 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 one Tasmania rather than North and South. Don't believe everything you read, Brian, especially from certain individuals. Oh. So come and see me if you want to know what oh. goes on. So, so you, your 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 intention is to play a few extra games down there each year. Three year in the South is a beautiful arrangement, Bristol, and uh, this one's full today. I think there's only about 150 tickets left to uh, Melbourne clubs which they love down here. The day is beautiful, so we can't wait. So what do you do, JB? You, you just lob into Tassie, lob into Hobart, stroll out of the airport straight to Bell Reeve, or do you uh, wander around uh, and just try and see if anyone's actually in the town of Hobart? No, I go to the Henry Jones Hotel, which is one of the great hotels of Australia, Bristol, right. and, um, and then come here to the corporate function. I'm sitting with... Uh, Peggy O'Neill and the Richmond uh, CEO, Benny Gale. Also with, what, is, uh, what has Peggy said today? I said, well, they've got good support down here too, so she's been to their supporters' uh, function today. She's been out to Mona, I think, or heading out to Mona to Ooh. see the art gallery. See the moaning gym? Uh, I don't know whether the moaning gym's <laughs> been hung, to be brutally honest. So well, it's I not hung. I'll, with that, I'll tell you it's not hung, Jim. I oh, know. Well, <laughs> certainly the original's hung, but the, uh, <laughs> the painting has got uh, onto the walls out there, Gary. I'm not 100% sure, I'll be brutally honest. Well, but, we will uh, be here, of course, and enjoying yep. what's going to be a great game. I'll be casting, and as will but, uh, Spud, a discerning eye on what's going on. And the word uh, from Hobart when we were there is that you'll spend a quarter out amongst that fateful crowd and probably in amongst the cheer squad, which we think is a great thing. Gary, what I do is I sit out the front of this function area with no, no, people who no, do a great job funding the game yeah, down with, here. The, that's with the hoi polloi, but I believe you are going to go out and sit with the cheer squad for a quarter. What, what the people in the cheer squad, well, certainly the local people have said uh, repeatedly to me since I've been down here, is they want, yeah, how but, dare Gary claim to be a Tasmanian when he was here for three weeks? Oh. Well, well, that's I, the repeated uh, uh, mail I'm getting. Well, Thanks, Spartan might have something to say on that a little later. What uh, we want, JB. Brian, is just for Jim... Because you said it, yeah. it's about embracing well, Hobart, should. is to go out and sit in amongst it's the crowd. It's the right thing to do, JB, especially when you're trying to acquire exactly right. new people. I th you know, in fact, I don't think you should be in Peggy's lunch. No. Uh, get down well, to... Well, it's actually the... our lunch, Bristol. We're oh. the home team, so it's oh, okay. a lunch. So I probably need to be He's in my lunch. <laughs> so, so what have you said in today's lunch? Uh, oh, I just ripped it to shreds. I tell you, well, I had a meeting out of the palm of my hand. Always do. There's no, yeah. that's no news to anyone in that room, of course. A couple of electric. zingers, Jim. A couple of zingers. Yeah, yeah some nice zingers uh, just flying uh, freely around the room. Christmas. And, uh, no, that was all fine. And now we're just settling down to some beautiful Tasmanian fare. And uh, then we get the game going. But um, all seriousness, we need to win. That's the main thing that needs to happen today. So have, you, have you run into any of your wanker cricket mates down there? Uh, well, there's certainly Dennis Rogers, the former chairman of Cricket Australia, who uh, runs the show down here. So Dennis is here, the staff of Cricket Tasmania. But I don't know, I actually, Michael Divanuto, I saw the other day, um, a very, very fine player from this part of the world, Bristol. So um, they're very proud of their cricket heritage in Tassie. Mm. Well, mm. Brian, uh, Brian so um, sure, we uh, don't feel like... Yes. I'm working with an ordinary man today well, that is my failing to embrace the responsibilities. Gary, it's my understanding that he threw to the break, quoting the dead station. Is well, it true? Or in fact, that's worked uh, its way down I'm here as well. I'm not sure whether we can hear it while you're still on the line. No, Let's just have a listen as Brian uh, took us to the break in uh, a couple on, of minutes Gary. ago. Come We're going to take a break on, 3W, uh, on Triple M Football. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Brian, Brian, you got Brian. a few wrong as well. Brian. <laughs> and Brian. You've, you've got a couple, Gaz. Brian. In the, in you've the, got to bank. cut the ties, Brian. I know it scarred you for life over there, but you've got to get rid of it. Well, well, it's a one-off, isn't it, Brian? It's a one-off. No, it's not. Here's six days ago. Here's Jude Bolton on 3W footy. How'd you see the first quarter, Jude? <laughs> they dig up more dirt than any other in fine style. All right, okay. 3W. Let's see. <laughs> Triple S. What's <laughs> 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 what <laughs> uh, oh, on the three They've been a couple. The scoreboard. Turn this crap off. Uh, Brian. They've been a couple, JB, but uh, oh. they're, you know. 
<laughs> I'm, uh, I'm still sort of working my way back in. No, Mate, he's... our listeners, when they hear that name, start to shiver a bit. You know, they just—it's something they're not aware of. They didn't even know it was on their radio dial. Right, Jim, you got to bugger off. <laughs> 